Well, everybody, today we are talking on students' book, Total English Advanced, Unit 1, Challenges. It is an intro lesson, so we are going to start speaking English right now. Let's recollect some words and phrases on topic challenges. Read the text and match the parts of speech to each underlined word or phrase. So we will read the text and we will match underlined word of race with a part of speech. In 1967, Ellen and Beatrice Gardner embarked on an experiment to train a chimpanzee to talk. Realizing that chimpanzees don't have their vocal apparatus to be able to speak like humans, but, they, but that they can use gestures easily, the gardeners decided to train the animal in ASL, American Sign Language. Their subject was a chimpanzee called Vashu. The gardeners brought up Vashu like a child, giving her regular meals and getting her to brush her teeth before sleep. At first, Vashu made meaningless hand gestures, similar to the meanings babbling of baby children learning language. But after four years, Vishu had learned over 150 signs. She could also combine the signs on some occasions, such as when she made the for water and bird on seeing a swan on a lake. Linguists and scientists, however, are skeptical about gardeners' research and question whether Vishu can really speak. They say that her language use is simply imitation. Okay, maybe you found some new words. You can stop the video and watch them up in a dictionary. Look them up in a dictionary. And now let's match words to the parts of speech. So the first word is experiment. It is a noun and we can count them. So it is a countable noun. One experiment, two experiments, three experiments, and so on. The second one is a possessive pronoun, their. It means that something belongs to them. The third word, easily, it ends with ly, so it is certainly an adverb. How easily? Then we can see article V. Then brought up, it's a phrasal verb in past simple tense, like bring up, bring up, paspitovit. Then we can see could, it's a modal verb in the past simple. Seen, it's a present participle. You know, any verb has infinitive form to see, past simple form, saw, past participle form, seen, and present participle form, seeing. However, it's a link word to make some contrast. Тем не менее, link word. Skeptical, it's an adjective, it's clear. And research, it's an uncountable noun. Okay, great. Let's go and find the grammar mistake in each sentence. It's a great time to notice what you lack. I'm speaking about grammar. Сейчас самое время как раз отметить то, что вам необходимо потянуть по грамматике. Нам необходимо найти ошибки в каждом предложении. Смотрим и запоминаем, что, на какую тему вам необходимо сделать акцент. By this time tomorrow, we will have arrived in Peru. So it's certainly, we will have arrived. It's tenses, времена. And according to the form, и согласно форме, мы можем видеть, что это present, future, perfect, simple. Future, perfect, simple. We'll have arrived. И кроме того, нам говорит маркер. By this time tomorrow. 
к этому времени завтра мы прибудем. We will have arrived. We were hot because we drown. Mm -hmm. Нам было жарко, потому что до этого мы бежали. Нам нужно подчеркнуть то, что до этого мы бежали. Поэтому мы берем перфект и еще continuous. Had been running. Нам нужно подчеркнуть процесс, который предшествовал тому, как нам стало жарко. We were hurt because we had been running. If I would have seen you, I would have stopped. В условных предложениях мы не можем использовать в обеих частях would или will. В части условия мы никогда не будем использовать would или will. В части условия мы используем либо present, либо past, либо past perfect. Так как это условие, условное предложение последнего третьего типа, где мы говорим о нереальных условиях, которые не произошли, а мы рассуждаем о том варианте, который нереален, если бы я Увидел тебя, я бы остановился. Но я не увидел и не остановился. Поэтому мы здесь используем в части условия past perfect, а во второй части would и перфектный инфинитив. If I had seen you, I would have stopped. It's time we go home. Это типичные английские конструкции. It's for To. For two infinitive construction. It's time for us to go. It's time for me to start. И так далее. Далее глаголы ментальной активности, чувства желания никогда не могут быть использованы в continuous. We haven't known her long. The conference... In the theater tomorrow will be held. Здесь временной аспект соблюден правильно. Мы должны использовать глагол в пассивном залоге, потому что конференцию будут проводить или конференция будет проведена дословно. Will be held. I had my first tone yesterday. Когда в английском языке какое-то действие совершается над тем объектом, который принадлежит вам, Uh, этот объект мы ставим между вспомогательным и смысловым глаголом, и получается, что uh, над этим объектом произведено действие. I had my purse stolen yesterday. Получается, что had – это будет относиться к времени past simple вчера, а stolen – это то, что кто-то украл кошелек. Действие пассивное. She persuaded me buying the car. После определенных глаголов в английском языке употребляется to buy или инфинитив. И после других определенных глаголов употребляется buying в герундии. He climbed up the mountain Everest. Up. It's extra. It must have been John. John is tall and that man was short. Mustn't have been. Я бы заменила на couldn't have been. Это не мог быть. Не мог быть Джон. Джон высокий, а тот мужчина был низким просто. Итак, мы сделали с вами отметки, на что вам нужно обратить внимание, прежде чем мы перейдем к изучению advanced. Двигаемся дальше. Complete the word map with words, phrases from the box below. So the first step, complete the word map, then underline the stress in each word, and then add three more words to each map. Here we have traveling, work, money, And people. And we have some words like half sister or stepsister, career path, like a career, uncharted territory, so that means unknown territory, 
soulmate, close person, culture shock, it means that you cannot understand something, spending spree, that is some costs, expenses, gamble, that means to, to have some game for money and to be redundant, to be made redundant, that means to be retired due to some circumstances. Not to be retired, but to be unemployed due to some circumstances. So half sister. This first syllable is towards half sister. Korea path, uncharted territory. Soulmate, culture shock. Spending spree, gamble, be made redundant. Okay, and now it is your turn to add three more words to each map. You can share it in comments, please. Now look at the dictionary extract below from the Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English. What does it tell you about each of the following? Grammar, pronunciation, use and meaning. So we have the dictionary extract. Here it is. We are looking up the word deadline. The pronunciation is here. We can see it deadline. Then we can see the letter N. It stands for noun. It means noun. And it is a countable noun. See, countable noun. Then we have a definition a date or time by which you have to do or complete something. And as for grammar, we can see two prepositions like deadline for and deadline of. We are given the use. The deadline for applications is May, is 27th of May. Or it has to be in before the deadline of July the 1st. We can also see some usage like with verbs, for example, meet a deadline or miss a deadline. Meet a deadline means have something finished on time. Miss a deadline, not have something finished on time. So the usage is working under pressure to meet a deadline. Then we have another words like, both phrases like set a deadline and impose a deadline. For example, they have set a deadline of November the 5th, or they have imposed a deadline of the 5th of November. And like adjective, the deadline can be tight or strict, and that means that a deadline is very, very difficult. Great. Then an exercise for you. Complete the dictionary extracts below by writing a definition for each one. Please use Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English. The first word is overpriced. For example, the food was overpriced. What does it mean? How many meanings does this word have? Wander, wander around. For example, we didn't know where to go, so we wandered around. Acquaintance. I don't know her well, she's just an acquaintance. How many meanings does this word have? Initiative. You need to have initiative to do this job. Great. Please write down all the 
meanings of these words. It's going to be very useful for you. And now look at the photos. Walk in pairs and discuss the questions. So this sign, this sign means discussion. And these are the photos. Here we can see some challenges. And please share in comments what types of challenges are shown. For, for, for example, on the first picture, we can see a mother with two children. She is talking over the phone, and I guess that she is facing a challenge of doing a lot of things at one and the same time. The second picture shows us, represents us as a person who is engaged in playing chess. Please. Go on describing. In the last picture, here we can see a young woman that is making a report for a very big audience. Please keep on describing. Have you ever faced any challenges similar to these? For example, I have never chosen a challenge of the first picture, but I, I faced a lot of times Challenges that are shown on the second and on the third picture. What about you? Please share in comments. And what happened further? What did you feel afterwards? Now it's high time to get to know some new phrases. The most pleasant time for us. Look at the sentence beginnings and check you understand the underlined phrases. Match them with the endings. I like to set achievable goals. It's important to face challenges, but she usually rises to the challenge, even if, if I succeed, it will make my dream come true because I couldn't have done it without help, so it was a burning ambition which it is important to have the right attitude because it's quite a daunting challenge, but hopefully. Okay, so set achievable goals. You can reach these goals. Face challenges, meet challenges, rises to the challenge. Inspire yourself to the challenge. Make my dream come true. I think everybody knows that. Couldn't have done it without help. So other people help me. A burning ambition. That means a very, very strong willing. Have the right attitude. That means that you are in a good mood and it is very positive. And daunting challenge, that means a very dangerous challenge, like hardly imaginable to be achieved. Okay. I'd like to thank my family and my sponsors. I can achieve it. So before starting, I always think about my objectives. If you are a positive person, it will be easier. I've wanted to do this since I was a child. You mustn't be afraid of them. It's something very difficult. I finally managed to achieve. I recommend you to stop the video and to make the choice yourself. Рекомендую вам остановить видео. И сделать выбор самостоятельно. Сейчас я собираюсь представить правильные ответы. So now I'm going to represent you with answers. I like to set achievable, achievable goals. So before starting, I always think about my objectives. It's important to face challenges, but you mustn't be afraid of them. She usually rises to the challenge, even if 
it's something very difficult. If I succeed, it will make my dream come true because I can achieve it. I couldn't have done it without help, so I'd like to thank my family and my sponsors. It was a burning ambition, which I wanted to do this since I was a child. It is important to have the right attitude because if you are a positive person, it will be easier. It's quite a daunting challenge, but hopefully I finally managed to achieve. Great. A very good set of phrases. Now let's go further. This sign means that we are going to memorize every phrase with our own speech. Этот значок означает то, что мы сейчас собираемся с вами отработать каждую фразу в речи и запомнить ее. What are your goals on this course, in your career or studies, or in your personal life? What challenges do you think you will face? Let's recollect them. Set achievable goals, face challenges, rise to the challenge, make my dream come true, a burning ambition, have the right attitude, daunting challenge, couldn't have done it without help. Моя рекомендация проговорить сейчас эти фразы два-три раза для того, чтобы они запомнились вам, а затем письменно составить ответ на вопрос, ну и устно проговорив его. Вы также можете прокомментировать, то есть оставить свой ответ в комментарии, что будет значительно лучше. Я буду очень рада прочитать и порадоваться вашим новым знаниям. Thank you very much for your attention. See you soon. Bye.